Hey guys, Eileen here. Um, I just wanted to check in and, you know, once not like disappear off the face of the earth and kind of update on how things have been with me. So I wanted to share my Midori because I've still been using it. As you can see, it's, you know, getting pretty worn out, but I don't know. I kind of like it and I don't want to like really even get the other like more expensive versions or like other versions that people kind of make and sell themselves. I kind of like this one. So I'm going to stick with it. And what I did is, um, so I have like a journal where I kind of write stuff and I can paint stuff. And then I do mostly writing like over here. And then in the back, I do more like um, like drawings and stuff and ideas for like drawings and stuff so that kind of is that and then I have the folder with um, you know some washi tape and my art palette or the watercolors and um, here I have I still have to decorate the cover but I have um a planner that I made because I love using paper planners but I wanted something that was portable and always with me and um, also convenient like in terms of size and space and the Midori pre-made ones were all like either like monthly or for you know half a year and I wanted one that had the whole year in it because that's what I'm used to so I decided to make my own so this is what I did is um, I got the um, oh my gosh what it's called anyways here's how it looks and um, I kind of used each page for a week and there are I think 64 pages so it's plenty for one year's worth um, so each page is, and it's been working out really well. It's like plenty, see, you, it's like plenty of space to like write everything I need. So it's kind of nice that way. It's exactly what I'm used to and it's, it's actually perfect for me. And it actually didn't even take that long because once you draw one set of lines, like on the first page, then you can kind of see through the back of the page. So you just kind of go over it and then you just follow that over on this page. And, and then you just, you know, write in the dates and then the days of the week. And it's really not that bad. And let me see. So it goes like that. And then I made a year, year's worth of planning for 2018 just for like, um, you know, uh, sort of like future planning at the end of the year in case I had something I need to write in. And then I have a few, it still leaves like, like a few blank pages for notes. So just an idea I wanted to share with you guys in case, you know, somebody was wondering, but really, you know, at this point, <laughs> you probably already have your own planners. So um, and also I, I have been busy. I haven't been scrapbooking, but I've been busy, um, painting. So I showed you one of my like first paintings, um, like, uh, at my last video. So I'll show you some other ones I've made. So this is a uh, five by seven and I'm going to be selling all these. I think I'll, um, you know, Put, list them in like an Etsy shop so if you guys are interested let me know and I'll like include a link but so that's that and I'm gonna like write my name and um, the name of the painting and the date on the back as well it's that one then this is my latest one actually so And this is um, an acrylic painting, so. These are all in acrylics, um, but I am thinking of doing, um, trying oils and stuff. So this one actually, I did the tiles continued on the edges as well. And all the edges are gallery wrapped, so you can just kind of hang it up. 
you know, you just put a nail, you hang it up on a nail without having to do anything or frame it or so it's really convenient. Yeah, so I've just been busy painting and just, you know, this is a 12 by 12, so it's about the size, well, yeah, it is the size of a scrapbook page. Um, this one's called My Little Narwhal. <laughs> I thought that would be funny. Um... So that's that one. And this one's called The Waiting Room. Also, this one is 12 by 12. So that's that one. And... This one's big. This one's like 12 by 16. Um, it's even hard to fit the whole thing. Yeah. So it's hard to fit the whole thing in the frame because it is so large. Um, this one's called Alice's Abyss. I wish I could get her, here's her face. So that's that one, and I have a little one, it's five by seven. Um, this is with watercolors. So this is on 100% cotton watercolor paper. And I'll list this one up in my Etsy shop as well when I get a chance. So that's that one. I might even frame it and sell it framed. I don't know. Um, but I did want to show you. Here is um, how I do them. So here are some. So I have, like I said, in my Midori notebook, I have some ideas. And then sometimes I'll just find, like, scrap pieces of paper and just, like, jot things down. And then I sketch them out on, um, actually, on paper that's... Um, like the exact same size as the canvas. I'll cut the paper down to the same size as the canvas and sketch it out and then use transfer paper to transfer it onto the canvas. Just because I don't want to erase more than necessary on the canvas itself. Um, like here's Alice's Abyss and I actually folded it because I had sketched the whole thing out. And then here's the waiting room. Uh, here's something else. I haven't gotten around to that. Here's again the waiting room, but this was when I first sketched it much smaller, just kind of the idea for it. And then I used the piece of paper to sketch out the, the actual thing. And then this is the shower one. I only did the girl because the tiles, I knew I would just use a ruler and measure. Um, and again, here's Alice's Abyss, kind of in its smaller version. And then I added, see, I changed a lot of things, like in the larger version. Here's another one. I started painting this one on wood, but I really didn't like painting on wood, so I'm not sure if I'm going to continue it and finish it on the wood or do it on a canvas. I really haven't decided because I really was not a fan of the wood. And here's my next painting. I already did the sketch for it. It's gonna be 11 by 14, I believe. And it's gonna be like a jungle scene. And I don't know where I get the ideas for these. Like, for example, the jungle scene, I just, I remember having some very vivid dreams. I always have very vivid dreams and 
lots of weird dreams, nightmares, all sorts of nonsense. And in a lot of my dreams, there's like a jungle like setting. Even if it's not a jungle, there's for some reason it looks like a jungle. And I remember very vividly how colorful it is in the dream. So um, I don't know, I guess these things just kind of stay with me and um, I sort of go from there. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Um, if you have any questions or whatever, let me know. Uh, and I'll be back with another video, you know, sometime in the near future. Thanks. Bye.